Hello everyone. In this episode we'll be covering vendors. So far we have done characters and dialogues. If you're not sure how to do these, please refer back to the, the recent episodes. Anyways, let's get started. So just like before, we're going to click the plus in the top right. We can set the vendor name which shows up at the top. When you open up this vendor it'll say sell, or sell meth. In the description which shows right under it, sell meth to Jordan. Now we can add item. Just like before, we're going to go back, go to Norfolk, copy the meth pouch, we can add item. And now in this new window, you see you have item and vehicle. In vehicle, you can paste in a vehicle ID and the price, and then the spawn point. The spawn point is set by your maps editor. If you do not know what the spawn point is, please ask whoever is working on your map. In this situation, when the person clicks on the vehicle, and buys it, it will spawn at that spawn point. Anyway, since this isn't a vehicle, in an item, we're going to choose item, which removes the ability to do a spawn point. We're going to paste in the ID and the cost. I might have a space at the end here, but I think it deleted it. Yep. Just like before, we can set conditions and rewards. In this situation, we don't have to. So we're going to close this. Actually, no, we need to click save vendor item. And it saves it to here. Now, if you want it so that he buys it, which in this situation he's selling it to you, we want him to buy it. We can change the sell type to NPC will buy this, and that shows up on the left. When you click it, it buys. Now, what we didn't do in the last video is set a vendor ID. So, in this situation, you can do open shop, go to vendor, make an ID, copy that ID, and paste it under open vendor ID. When clicking this, it'll open this vendor tab. Now, since this is relatively done, we're good to go. However, we need to add the currency GUID over here since we are using a currency. Otherwise, it will default to EXP. So we're going to go back to the money model we're using, copy the currency GUID, and just paste it in. Works perfect. It's so beautiful and simple. Like, it will convert it all to just the cash GUID you're using. That's it for vendors. Vendors are really easy. Next, we're going to do quests, and now you should know how to do characters, dialogues, and vendors.